Hey everybody, welcome to Tuesday Tips with Kimber Bell. I'm Trina from Product Development and today I have... Hello, I'm Michelle. I'm also from Product Development. And today we are going to talk about our new Deluxe Embroidery Scissors and Tool Set. So there's four tools in the set and we use them all the time. Anybody who does machine embroidery, you're going to want the whole set to really do a great job with your applique, trimming around, and trimming the... The jump stitches. The famous jump stitches. So many jump (laughs) stitches, right? So I don't know if any of you have done one of these or one of these. There are a lot of... Jump stitches. Jump stitches everywhere. (laughs) Because every time it jumps from design to design, it leaves a thread that you're gonna wanna trim to make it look really professional, really done, mm-hmm. right? And they're gonna be all over the place, so <laughs> so that's why we're super careful with chumping, with trimming jump stitches. Yeah, because we don't wanna dig into the fabric. And so you wanna be able to trim all your jump stitches to make it look really, really great. So hopefully some of you are working on your Noelle's quilted stockings now. So there's a lot of trimming going on here and then a lot of jump stitches. So one of the things that Michelle brought up is before you place your vinyl, what do you want to do? You're going to want to trim all your jump stitches before you place the vinyl because after you get that tack down line put on there, you're not going to be able to go back and trim. So it's super important, very crucial that that we do that. Yeah, that you make it look really professional, get all those stitches out of the way before placing your vinyl. But our, our tool set has all the tools you need to trim vinyl, felt, glitter, and leather the embroidery leather so all of these things can be trimmed using our tool set the duck bills are really really great for cutting around your applique and then um, we also have some finer the sharp snips for the what would you use the sharp snips for michelle i would use them mostly for trimming jump stitches and for doing around finer finer work where there's there's more angles to get in there they're they're a bit easier for a lot Mm -hmm. of people to get in there so definitely going to want to get a set of these um so today we're going to showcase our uh baby body suits um we've got a christmas a darling christmas one here that had a lot of jump stitches to trim and they're open down the side so that you can you can see right here They open just like that, which is so nice because then you can put them right on your hoop. And then when you're done with your embroidery, you take it out and then you just have to get your sewing machine and sew right up the side. Isn't that great that they're open down the side? Mm -hmm. So these tiny little body suits, here's our three to six months. That can go on your embroidery machine on a hoop and then you can do a great um, design on there and then stitch it shut at the very end. So Michelle today is gonna show us how to trim all those jump stitches using our tools. Yeah, so we've got all kinds of jump stitches on this baby bodysuit, as you can see. And with our tools, I would use these micro tips. They're super awesome. You can see that they have little, little tiny ends right there. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use two tools. You're gonna take your tweezers and your micro tips. And why would you need two tools to trim one thread, Michelle? So what's gonna happen, um, if I were to just go in with the scissors and trim a thread, you'd have two little ends poking up and it just wouldn't look as professional. But if I use two tools, then I'm able to grab the thread right here with these, these mic- with these tweezers, right? And then the micro tips you can get as close as possible. And then when you trim, you can see on that side that there's no sh- there's no thread left behind. And the it's... end disappears because you pulled it up yeah. just a little bit, and then when you snip it, it will sink back in, yes. and then you can't see it. That's beautiful. Yeah, and then you just go on over to that other side and do the same thing. A little bit tight. So we'll the tweezers them. will help you hold on to that thread while you're snipping it, mm-hmm. and they're also sharp if you have little... Um, little ones to trim that are hard to get yeah, to that you might see on those zipper pouches right yes in between all of those yeah there could be some really tiny ones mm-hmm. and you would use your um your tweezers yeah for sure on something like that because that fine tip is really useful for mm-hmm. getting into the tiny little details yeah 
And another thing that you can also do, so these, these micro tips are awesome for all jump stitches, but if you are feeling like you need to get into something smaller and the tweezers aren't doing it for you, you can use these guys right here, the sharp snips. Super are, useful, those sharp yeah, snips. They're awesome for trimming jump stitches as well. So it's the same thing. You can just grab, no, let's do a different one. Let's do this one right here. You can grab it with your tweezers and trim. And then the same thing, grab with your tweezers and trim. And those are really sharp, so they give you a nice clean cut on yes. that thread. It doesn't fray the end of your thread, which mm -hmm. can not look so great after you trim. If you're using not sharp tools, you'll be frustrated. I tried stitching some at home, and my tools just weren't as sharp as what we get here. And so having really sharp, fine tip tools will give you a better product. And we want you to have the joy of creating, so you want to have the right tools for mm -hmm. what you're doing, for sure. And these scissors are going to make all the difference for you guys. Yeah. So hopefully you'll have a lot of fun stitching out Noelle's quilted stockings and doing a lot on these baby bodysuits and posting all of the work that you do. We want to see them. We love seeing your stuff. It's awesome. So thank you for joining us for Tuesday Tips at Kimber Bell and happy stitching.